what's up youtube welcome back to the channel man i'm up i'm up yo ho i just got back from the grocery store man I had to re-up on some groceries because i'm like completely out of my diet food um i didn't get too much stuff because i'm anticipating getting a new diet plan tomorrow for my coach so i didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff that i can't eat you know the day changes and i got a whole new plan it's like dang all that stuff i bought i can't even eat it so yeah but I'm feeling good, man. You know it's abnormal for me to be up this early. But I got up early because I got a plan, man. I'm going to go on a hike, and I got to catch the sun. Got to catch the sun. So and I feel like it's going to take me like two hours to get up the hike. I'll probably chill up at the top of the hike for like two hours and two hours down. So I needed to get up there, <laughs> you know, early. <laughs> um, I'm feeling good. I took a rest day yesterday. Complete rest day. I stayed, I stayed home. Usually when I take a rest day, I'll still go to the gym and like stretch, maybe do some handstands or something. But nah, I just, I stayed home and just rested. Reset my mental, reset my physical. It's like taking a step back so you can take five steps forward. And that's exactly how I feel. So let me um, get into the crib, make some of these, make my breakfast, get some other meals prepared for maybe to bring us some meals up on the hike and then um, get the day going, man. All right, let me show you what I got, man. Got them big ass chicken breasts. Oh my God. It says no added hormones or steroids, but dude, these are freaking huge. I wonder if they telling the truth. Um, we got we got, you know, we had to re-up on the pineapple. Got them strawberries. These blueberries are running about $8, man. They're not even organic. Like, what's going on? Why are blueberries so expensive? Uh, what else? Had to get the liquid egg whites. I kept buying one of these, but, it, you know, they just run out so quick. So I was like, bro, you better get two. And, you know, trident. Got that gum. And we got the brown eggs, dog. We got the brown eggs. Ooh, they wet. They shining. Cool. So simple, very simple. I think this will, you know, I think we'll be good for like, you know, we definitely got what we need for today. I'm really hoping that I get my new plan tomorrow and then we'll have to go grocery shopping again for whatever the heck is in that plan. But for now, I think we're good for like the next day, two days, you know, just in case if I don't get it tomorrow, I all that should be good for the next day as well. Um, we got legs today, by the way, guys. We got fucking legs. I'm rested up. I feel good. We're gonna go on this hike. Um, I imagine when I get back, I'm probably a little tired, so I probably will take a nap. And then we're gonna be back on our schedule, hitting the gym late, you know? Um, yeah. So, let me make breakfast, and I'm gonna show you how to, I'm, well, I'm gonna make this chicken too. And I'm gonna show you how to make that shit juicy, dog. So my, my, my chicken been on point lately, all right? So let me put this away, get the breakfast made. All right, just got four egg whites still. So that's just one third cup, one third cup. Boom. Cut up some of these mushrooms. The mushrooms be saving it. They just add so much like, just make the meal so much better, you know? And there's barely any calories in mushrooms, so you can go fucking OD. You can go OD on them and just chop up like a whole cup. Throw them in there, man. Just makes your meal a lot better. Damn, y'all, do y'all see the uh, UFC 308 fights? My God. I picked like all the fucking underdogs and they all lost, bro. Fucking main event, Max Holloway got knocked out. I did not see that shit coming at all. I did not, I know Ilya Teporia's a beast. I really like Ilya Teporia. I just didn't think he was gonna knock out Max and I thought Max was like primed out, ready to, uh, just ready to put some work in. But my dude got knocked out. Now Robert Whitaker versus Hamzat, bro. I thought Rob was gonna win that too. I thought the same same exact storyline. I was like, yo, I think I think Rob is primed out. I think he can 
You know, I think he's, I know he's the OG, he's the older guy, and these young fighters, these young undefeated fighters are coming up. But I was like, I think he can hold his own. No, he got taken down in the first round. And dude, put that dude in like a rear naked choke, but it wasn't even around his neck, it was around his fucking jawline, and he squeezed so hard he fucking broke his jaw. Dislocated his jaw, pushed his teeth in. His teeth weren't lined up anymore, they were pushed in. Like his, th like his th fucking three front teeth on the bottom row was pushed in because he squeezed so fucking hard, which is crazy. i never seen nothing like that before. So, yeah. I ended up watching those fights yesterday and just resting all day. Much needed. Tell him, mm -mm -mm. Mushrooms. Got the spinach. Got the avocado. Perfecto. Okay. Cup of pineapple. Bow. All right, y'all. So we got meal one. I'm going to eat this. I'll probably just bring um, my next meal, which is just the apples, uh, apple and some almonds. And I'll just eat that at the top of the hike. I was planning on making the chicken and like eating that up there. I'm breaking bread with myself on the hike because I'm going alone, man. I'm going to the top and be by myself. I, I don't think I've ever went on a hike by myself before. But it's calling. So I'm gonna go. Um, and I'll probably just bring the apple and the almonds and eat that up there. So I know when I get back home, I'll be hungry and we can eat the chicken, you know, a big solid meal before the gym. Cause it's leg day and we get that energy in us before we go. So I think that makes more sense. We do it like that. And the hike, uh, just my red apple sliced, fourth cup of almonds and we good to go y'all. So here we are at the beautiful Red Rock. This is the, it's called Calico Basin. Let me see if I can get that in there. That sign right there, Calico Basin. Um, the freaking mountain right in front of me that I just showed you, that looks so beautiful. I've never, <laughs> I can't climb that. But there's another side and that's where we're going. And that's where the rocks are like really red. You know, these are like tannish. Like, can't get up there. Unless you probably got like rock climbing equipment. I'm gonna be going somewhere. You see where those red rocks are behind me? That's where I'm gonna be going. Looks small from here, but as I get closer, you'll see. Super high and super fun. And I'm here by myself. What the hell? I would never do this in the past. But like I said, something's calling. <laughs> so it'll be fun. 
Uh, let me get up like this first boring part and then I'll start to show you some things. We're going that way towards those red mountains. We're gonna get to the very top. Every time I come, every time I come here, this rock right here just looks like a monkey face. You know, it's like forehead, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. <laughs> I love it. I came well prepared, you know. It's getting close to uh, like being cooler, you know, like fall and it gets cold around Halloween time. I thought it was gonna be colder today. So I got like a long sleeve and a jacket, but it's not very cold at all. So take the shirt off, let the sun hit me, even though it's not too sunny out right now because there's, it's pretty cloudy actually. But it's just like perfect weather actually. And we're just going nice and slow, you know? I'm just pacing myself, no rush. It feels nice. <laughs> Today just feels so different. Like, I'm already by the monkey face. Usually I feel like it would take me a little while to get here or, I don't know, everything's just so peaceful right now. Like, I can't explain it. I feel like we're gonna get to the top way faster than I'm expecting. Um. Some people are rock climbing it. Let me show you. Look at that. Like, I can't explain it, but everything is just real peaceful. Like, my, um, I haven't gone far at all, but usually I feel my legs working already. Like, it's a little bit uphill. Like, I'll feel like my legs pushing, but I don't feel none of that right now. It just feels very calm and very easy. And it's, it's nice. So let's proceed. Okay, so this is a good point to show you. This is all beautiful rock right here, you know? But like I said, we're going there. Right to that split. And then once we hit that split, we break off around like there. And we end up getting to like the very top, somewhere up there. That's the journey. <laughs> That's our journey. Here we go. So peaceful. People rock climbing. Look how pretty the texture of this rock is, you know? Look at the design, so pretty. It's awesome. You just wanna touch it. Mm. Yeah. They're just all type of cool rocks, huh? <laughs> I was playing music, but I'm like, I don't even want the music. It's just nice and peaceful, it's just quiet. It's really nice. You see a lot of cute dogs out here. People got their dogs. I see a lot of cute dogs. <laughs> uh, it's fun. You know, this really makes me just wanna like dedicate my life to uh, just seeing nature in different parts of the world. Like just traveling to different places in the world, doing the best hikes, eating the best food and stuff. What was this fly doing on me, man? He's he's chilling, man. He's not even scared. Got that aura. He's not even running away. He's like sucking my blood or something. He's pinching me. He won't blow away. I'm blowing him. Look. Hey, I guess I'm not hiking alone today. <laughs> Let's proceed. She 
you doing, dog? That's the weirdest thing. He's not even moving. I don't know if he's sucking my blood, planting fucking seeds in me or some shit, but he's literally, like, not scared of me. I'm gonna leave him there, man. Hopefully I don't get no disease. Dude, he doesn't... He don't want to go nowhere. He's feeling the vibe, man. Look at him. He's feeling the vibe out here. He said, take me to the top. I got you, bro. I'm gonna get you where you need to go, man. Wherever you need to go. I'm your guy. Okay, so the terrain is changing a little bit. We're at like the beginning of where I told you we're gonna climb, like that red. We got the trees and the bushes around us and stuff. Yeah, we're going up there. It's gonna be cool. By the way, our passenger has not left yet. He's just enjoying the ride. And I'm not bugging him. No pun intended. What do you think, bro? It's nice, right? Yeah, it's nice. He said it's nice. This is how it's looking. Wow, look at all that green. Very pretty. Dang, he fooled me, guys. He was just drinking my blood. He fooled me. He fooled me. He was just drinking my blood the whole time, you guys. I thought he was my homie, bro. He was just being, he was just using me. I didn't know flies do that. I thought they just chill. I didn't know mosquito. I thought that was mosquito's job to suck your blood. I just passed some little girl and her family, and she was like, you know, they like we we passed each other, and I just heard her say, "I want to be as strong as that man one day." See, sometimes. I mean this shit for real. Sometimes you don't even gotta inspire people. Like you don't gotta try to inspire people. But if you just be, if you just be you and you do great things, you just doing you inspires people, you know? Even like sometimes I be around my um my ex-girlfriends, you know, nieces and nephews. And like they just they just see you, they be like, yo, that dude's big. And I ain't even got to speak life into them. I ain't got to say, hey, get to the gym. Or I ain't got to say nothing like that. They just look at you and it inspires them. So not trying to glaze me or nothing, but just want to let you know, like, you know, we're powerful, even without trying to be powerful. But yeah. <sighs> what a nice hike. I look like an earth man. By the way, I got my, like, my necklace. You know, I got this right there. So I don't know what it is. I got this at, like, some type of, some type of fair or something, man. But I like it. I really let that fly drink my blood for like fucking 10 minutes, bro. He was not scared, by the way. Like, I knocked him off with my finger and he did not fly away. Like, he was trying to get back on me. But he was pinching me. You know, I didn't have an issue with it, but it was kind of getting, I was feeling the pinch. So, like, you gotta get off, dog. You gotta get off. The monkey face is right there. I had to ditch that fly, man. It was a toxic relationship. It just wanted me for my blood. It's feeding the ecosystem. You know what I mean? It's nice and breezy. It's not cold, but it's just like a nice, like a perfect breeze, you know? You cannot complain. vibes just wanted to sit down for a second keep it easy you know no rush just keep it easy i wonder what that means all right we almost there man there's basically nobody up here anymore now it's just me complete silence um probably like 60 percent done with the journey though all right so we made it to the split and I want to show you the split is cool too because it shows the other side of like Red Rock or it just shows you another side so I'll show you. So we made it to that point though. Boom. You know? Boom. See that? 
So yeah, this is the split, shows you the other side. And then what we do is we come over here and now we start an ascent and get all the way up, up there somewhere, okay? Let the magic begin. And at this part as well, it's no longer just like a simple walk uphill. You kind of got to do a little bit of like climbing, maneuvering, it's still easy or maybe moderate. You know, it's still, it's still low difficulty, like moderate, but you know, you're gonna have to catch your breath every now and then because it is just more work for sure. But this is the fun for, the fun part for me, the fun fart. <laughs> this is the fun part for me, <laughs> you know, because we get to like climb and just, it just feels more ex, just like adventurous, explorative and take some physical strength. Big drops, you gotta be careful. But look at the side of that mountain, look at the face of that. Woo! Look at the face of that, just so pretty. It's awesome. Mm. Now we're getting higher, you know, we're above the face. You can see everything. We came up this aisle right here. And you definitely gotta use your hands and your feet. You know, it's like normal walking. Now you gotta walk with your hands, use your feet, and keep climbing. But I just love getting to the high spots. That beautiful tan rock I was showing you. Made it over to the red rock. And now you can see over everything. You just get a nice view of the world. Very pretty. See the strip really nice from here? Right there. Boom. But we still gotta get up. We still got we still got more climbing to do because we want to get to the top, the top top. So I'll see you at the top, Michael Chandler. This is kind of just what I wanted to get to. I thought we could get higher, but I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. Cause you gotta like, no, it's just too dangerous. Not worth it. And this is perfect. So 360. Thing looks nice. Boom. Just the Red Rock Hotel with the Las Vegas Strip. Look at the sky, man. It's just so vast. You could just see everything. You know? On top. Whoo! You can see God from up here, man. Quick, cut it out. Look at this. Nice. Cars down there driving. All around you, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I'd say it was worth it. <laughs> I'm smiling, shit. Wow. Um, it probably took me like an hour and like 30 minutes to do that, but then again, I was stopping and recording and things like that. I got up here quicker than I thought. Um, so now I'm just gonna freaking enjoy it. I'm gonna be peaceful. I'm gonna sit. And I brought my journal up here. I just wanna reflect on like all my journal entries. Maybe meditate on them just so I can really cement the lessons that I've learned in the last like three weeks. You know, just cement them into me. You know? And that's why I wanted to do this hike too, because it's like you did a physical act, like a strenuous physical act along with the lesson so it's like just gonna be hard to forget it's like my, my, my mind is gonna tie those lessons to the physical act of climbing this mountain i'm gonna eat those apples and eat the almonds and just like you know we're eating now and it's gonna connect like you know more act more um more actions like my, my brain's gonna remember like you climbed a mountain you ate apples and almonds you sat down and meditated you read your journal you thought about it and you just sat up here and you really reflected at all those actions attached to those lessons it's going to be hard to forget you know that's how you cement things into your being you know because we always forget stuff right you read something you want to remember but you forget it and i find this is like a good technique to be like we're never going to forget that shit Just do that. You gotta do 
some shit with it. Attach some hard actions to it. Climb a fucking mountain. You know what I mean? Break bread with yourself. Bring a meal up here and eat. Your brain ain't gonna forget that. I remember this shit till I'm fucking, you know, for the lifetime. I remember that time I hiked Red Rock by myself. Brought some food up there. Broke bread. Meditated. You get me? You get You get it? You know, y'all, y'all smart people. You get it? Yeah. You know, look, look crazy too. I've been growing my fucking facial hair because usually I can't. I always shave my mustache and my beard because it doesn't grow. But I shaved it so much, I'm just getting older. Like now, this shit's kind of growing in a cool way. And uh, I saw my my dad. I saw my parents yesterday because I watched the UFC fights with them. And he was like, "Man, he's starting to look like Kalechi, you know?" Because I'm leaning out, and he's like, "Your facial features are showing, <laughs> and you're growing your fucking mustache." Kalechi's my oldest brother. It was just funny. He's like, "You're starting to look like Kalechi," and I'm like. I see it too. I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I kind of see it. <laughs> so, vibes, man. Here, I'll do my ritual and then I'll catch back up with you. Maybe do some handstands. Let's do some cool shit up here, you know? Yeah. Set the tripod up. Feels nice up here. Really nice. So I got a lot of time, I can hang out. No rush. I want my apples, man. <laughs> got my apples. Meal two going down. <laughs> oh yeah. Very nice. That was nice. I feel at peace. <laughs> you know, I made the right choice uh, bringing apples because it's not meat. <laughs> it feels proper. You know? Wow, I feel like so at peace. I meditated, I journaled. Mm, it just feels nice up here. I feel it. You know, I would have never done this before. I want to hike by myself. I'd say something like, ah, oh, there's no dopamine in it. Like, what? I don't know. It just sounds boring. Like, when I'm going to be alone. Nobody to talk to. Like, I got to go with I gotta go with somebody. Like, what? I'm just going to get up here and then sit. And then what? Look around and what? And I got to climb down and go home? You know, I would have looked at it like that. But I've been excited to do this for the, for the past week. I just had to pick a day or I was down to go any day. It was more like my sleep schedule. I just had to get up. And today was the day where I got up at a good time and I was super excited. I knew I was going to get up at a good time today and I was excited the day before, like tomorrow I get to go on that hike by myself and I'm excited for it. So I noticed a change in me because I was excited for it. Just like I'll be excited to hit the gym. Just like I've been excited to like look forward to certain days in the past, I was looking forward to this. So I know there's a change in me and I love it. I love it. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna chill, mess around, and we'll see what happens.
All right, so I had a good time up there. I was up there for quite some time, actually. Um, and now I'm going down. But it was, it was everything I wanted it to be. We, uh, I journaled, ate my apples. I like meditated and reflected on the lessons I wanted to like instill in me. And reread like my journal as well. So like just a very reflective experience. And it was everything I wanted. Now we just gotta get down carefully and we'll be back another time. This is my new ritual. You know, a weird thing about coming down is I never find the same path that I came up to come down. It's like you almost, I just get lost or something. I just take alternative route. And you always gotta do some like, I wouldn't call it sketchy shit, but it's like, what the fuck? I don't remember this way. <laughs> but I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like back. I just gotta get down there. So, yeah. But I just did some shit that was easy for me. But if I had like somebody with me, I'm like, you shouldn't do this. Boom. Yo, I'm back home safe. I gotta chill though, man. I'm about to relax for a sec. About a, it's Sunday, so um, I know there's some football highlights. Let me see what the heck's going on. I'm about to lay down on the couch and just relax for a sec, man. Coming down, going up and down the mountain. You got your legs kind of shaky, dog. Um, so I just need to chill for a sec. Um, but I got my third meal. Got the Ezekiel bread, almond butter, half cup of strawberries. Yeah. So I ended up taking a nap. Um, probably fell asleep for like three or four hours. Woke up at 10 p.m., chilled a little bit, watching football highlights. Chiefs still undefeated. And um, now it's about like 11.45, and I got legs today. You know what I mean? So I was like, let me eat another meal before I go. Okay, so this is four out of five of my meals. When I get home, I'll have one meal left. But this is the pre-workout meal. Got a cup of blueberries. And then I got three whole eggs in the salad. And we're about to just go smash some legs, man. I really I feel like it's going to be a long leg day because there's a lot of exercises I want to do. And I'm well rested. Um, and I ain't got nothing else to do. So I don't mind being in the gym for fucking three hours today. I really don't. <laughs> so that's the move. Also, um, the show is official. You know, I was, oh, it was always official, but I mean, like, I just paid for, uh, I renewed my IFBB Pro card, and I paid um, the fee to enter the competition. My flight's been booked already. The hotel is booked. Everything's booked. And I ordered my posing trunks. They'll be here on, like, fucking November 1st or something like that. So hopefully they fit well. I just got the extra large, the largest size, because... I figured they'll that means shit. I just think that's it. If not, I'll have to get another pair and expedite them the next day or something so I can get them before the competition. I did all that stuff kind of late, but it's all official, man, you know? No pulling out. No pulling out. Raw dog. Um, yeah. <laughs> Raw dog. <laughs> Let's go. So this is about to be the longest leg day you ever witnessed and the longest voiceover as well, all right? So if you ain't if you don't rocking with it, just skip through it. But I wanted to show you everything I did, okay? Starting with these hip adductors or abductors, whichever which one is which. Did like four to five sets of each of these, okay? These I never do. So I just feel like if I do them, it's gonna give me some edge. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, four to five sets of these, first thing, okay? And another new exercise that I wanted to try out that I think I could take advantage of are hip, thruster, hip thrusters. I've never, dude, maybe I can count it on my one hand how many times I've done these. I never do these. So I'm just like, I'm going to need to, man, because in classic physique trunks, they be low cut. You know, they be showing the glutes off and shit, so you need them. Then I was thinking of Kai Green, you guys. 
And I was like, I remember Kai Green did these fucking, these are called Jefferson squats, but I call them Kai Greens because he's the only guy I ever see do them. I'm like, let me do those. And back to the hip thrusters. Okay, this is the only part of that workout that's going to be like edited and I'm not showing you all the reps. Because these were like new movements and I did a lot of them. So this video is already long. I'm like, I need to make it that long. So I'm kind of cutting through the Jefferson squats and the hip thrusters. But these I just did with no weight first. And then I was like, let me do 10 pounds because it's a new movement for me. I've never done these before. So I'm trying to get the hang of it. And to be honest, I don't even think you need to go too heavy. Probably won't even be able to. But next week I'm going to do, do these again and we'll, we'll explore. We'll get heavier and stuff like that. Okay. Back to the hip thrusters. Yo, these are, I think these are going to be a game changer for me, you know? If, like, maybe, I should, I should have been doing these, like, the whole prep. But, like, you know, these last three weeks, I think it'll still make a good change. So now I increase the weight on the Jefferson squats. We got 25 pounds on each side. By the way, I'm supersetting those. I'm going from the hip thrusters back to the Jefferson squats and then back to the hip thrusters. Okay? That's my idea. Boom. And you guys know, if, you, if you've if you watched my last leg day video, leg days be stressing me out. But this right here is not stressing me. It's like these are new movements and I'm super setting them. So it just it's like fresh in my mind. Like, you know, it's not too bad. But we're still we're still good and good work. You know, I'm not taking it easy. I was like, okay, so let's see how heavy I can go. You know, then I put two 25 pounds on each side. And this is like this is solid. I'm, I feel like I can probably hit like eight to ten of these before I want to like drop the weight. Um, so yeah, I did like fucking five sets each so far and they feel so good and I just want to get the hang of them that I kept doing them like no bullshit. This might be like the sixth set and <laughs> I like them. Kai Green said that they're really for the hamstrings and the glutes. That's what he does them for. But in my head, I was like, I think they might get them inner thighs as well. So in my head, I'm like, yo, inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. That's what we need, man. We want to get the legs pumped as we can, you know, up until the show. So this is the idea. And I'll probably show you the full set of this one, just showing you the reps. You want to keep your core in the whole time completely stacked above your hips. And you just got to keep everything aligned if you want them to be good and feel good. Bam. All right. Now we're moving on to our squats. This is like kind of when the real leg day begins, I guess. But I mean, we did we just did fucking a bunch of shit already. But this is when I'd say the real leg day begins. And I do cut through the squats a little bit. Like this is one plate. I don't want to show you all the reps. I probably did like fucking 12 reps or something like that. Then we jumped to two plates. And I did a lot of squat today, guys. Today was brutal. It was brutal. But my mobility is looking real good. I think doing the uh, hip adductors and abductors before you like jump into these compound workouts is a very good idea because my form is feeling like better than ever, you know? One thing was though, Kai Green suggested you do the Jefferson squats after you do your regular squats. I did a reverse. Maybe because like I can feel my, I got my belt by the way, if you see, I didn't have my belt, but I ran to the car and get it, got it because I felt my core and lower back not giving out, but the Jefferson squats put a toll on it already. So I was like, I need some extra. So now we're got up to three plates and the form is still good. This is better than ever. I've never squatted this good before, form wise. There's no pain. I feel really good. The lower back and core stress that I mentioned, it was just because I did exercises prior. Nothing is like hurting or pinching or feeling painful. These are just good solid reps now. And I believe we hit like seven reps or something like that. You know, I've lost like 45 pounds so far. So the strength has suffered and seven reps was solid for me. I switched to vertical because I was trying to get some stuff for Instagram, but same thing we just did another set of three with three plates and I'm basically burning out with three plates doing what I can which is falling into like the five to seven rep range apparently we'll see but I do a lot of fucking squats you guys I just think that's the way you get your legs big 
you know, I think squats is, is the way, but you need good form form or you're gonna destroy your body. So, but, but for me, squats has always been that thing. Like you gotta do is mandatory. And you can see, like, look at that. Like the quads are looking fucking pumped right now, yeah? And you can kind of see the inner thighs showing, right? You see like those muscles busting on the inner thighs? That's from doing the hip adductors constantly and probably those Jefferson squats. Maybe. I don't know. I just know I've been doing way more hip adductors and stuff. So I see it paying off already. Not just today. I've been doing it like last week, even on non-leg days. Like before I go and do my cardio, I'll do some of that. Like hip adductors before I do cardio. Another set of three plates. So this is the third set of three plates that we've done so far. Okay. And I believe we do more. I just wanted to go really hard today and just embraced it like i was bitching last week if you remember i was like oh, i hate leg day i was like man cut that shit out bro just just fucking give it what you got you can only give so much before you just fucking break down so just eventually you'll have to call it quits you know but just get to that point stop bitching um so we kept three plates on it and we're just burning out like i said it's falling into like the five to seven rep range if i'm not mistaken boom Crack that shit. Um, checking the quads again. I'm getting content, y'all. I'm getting content. <laughs> the inner thigh muscles, I've never had that before. So I'm telling y'all, this is uh this is good news. Like them shits is looking pumped up right there. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Look got the got the young LA compression on, but we looking, we looking brolic, you know. They say we looking like brolic out here. Okay, we take those, we take that. Look. I did another set of Jefferson squats <laughs> because like I told you, Kai Green said you should do them after your regular squats. So I was like, man, I got to do these after. I just want to feel it. So this no bullshit. This might have been like my seventh fucking set of Jefferson squats. Uh, and I was just guys, I don't really think you, you can do too much. But like when you're just focusing on form and you're really getting inside the muscle, which is what I'm focused on. It's like I'm just practicing activating the muscle. It's not like I'm. I can't explain it. I just feel like it's hard to do too much when you're just really practicing activating the muscle. So that's what I was focused on. It, those Jefferson squats felt like more of a practice than a workout. So I was like, I can do as many sets and reps as I want. We're looking sick right here. Let me cut myself off. Looking crazy, dog. Yeah, I was liking that. I was liking what I was seeing right here. Yeah, point at the camera like, let's go. Let's go tough, you know, taking a shirt off. Look, another fucking set of three plates. What are we doing, bro? We're mad today. Like, what's going on? Why are you doing so much squats, Uzoma? It is what it is, bro. I told you this was a monster leg day. Like, no bitching, bro. Just be a man and get it done. Do some extra. And look, man, form is looking good, bro. I like it. I like this. This is the type of, this is the energy we need up until the show. Stop bitching. Get that work done, dog. Strength, discipline. You know what it is. I think, I think I hit this one for like seven. I don't count my reps really. I, mean, I just, I was just going for really good form today and just doing my best. What I do? I flex again. Nope. We're doing one more final set for the squats. I dropped the weight to two. And on this set, I'm just doing, going slow as hell on the negative and going as deep as I can. And just coming up. And even somebody, this girl walked by and was like, yo, that was eccentric as fuck. And what she meant was like, I was going slow as hell on the negative like I just told you I was. You know, she noticed it because that's what uh, that's what I was aiming for. Like I'm not stressing about the number of reps. Just do the form as good as you can, and if you do that, eventually you'll fucking burn out and have to rack it. So I wasn't psyching myself out. I was just like, go slow, get these perfect reps, and eventually, Uzoma, you will burn out. That's just what I told myself. And just wanted to get some volume after hitting three plates so much. Cause you know, like I said, it was five to seven rep range. So maybe I was trying to get this for like 10 to 12. I forget how many I got it for, but I just wanted some more volume. <laughs> Boom. 
Looking good, man. Looking good. That was good. Taking care of business. Oh, that was eccentric as shit. I was like, just go slow. Sometimes you stress yourself out, you should make shit up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, eventually you'll burn out. Just go slow. Oh, then, you, then it's less reps. <laughs> but they're really good reps. Yeah, we got to flex. Flex again after that. And now it's like OD, you know. I think our pump like came in, came and went a little bit. That's how I know I'm doing, like, did too much, but we're looking crazy. Like, I don't feel like the legs are getting any bigger now. You know what I mean? Like, our pump maxed out, and the pump might even be going away, even though we're doing more sets. Um, that's kind of how I feel at this point. I feel like we're going OD. So that's how I know when I've done too much. It's like your pump came and went, bro. Like, your shit was super pumped up, and you're doing more sets and reps, but, like, your pump isn't, like, staying. But I was like, nah, fuck that. Like I said, this is more of a practice. So I was like, I can do another set of Jefferson squats. So I did. You know what I mean? <laughs> I did so many Jefferson squats. Because you got to go below parallel. So it's also like a good mobility movement, though. Because your core is stacked right above your hips. You go below parallel. And yeah, I was just like, I want to feel these. I really want to feel them. So I did a lot. I wasn't lying, guys. I told you I did a lot. And I told you this is a monster leg day. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't wasn't liking it, so I just cool. All right, now we can move on to leg extensions. This is definitely the third set because I got two two videos for Instagram first, and then my last three sets we got them wide angle um, for YouTube. So I'll skip. I'll save you guys the time of the first two sets because we we do drop sets with these. So it it look at yeah every set we do a drop set. So I went heavy. Let's say it was like 200 pounds on there, burned out with 200, drop it to like 100, and we burn out again. So it's like you get the heavy weight, and then you gotta drop it, get some more volume in to like really craft, really cut your legs up. That's what I'm thinking. Boom. Another set. Boom, we went heavier. So now it's a higher high. Let's say it's like 220 or something like that. We burn out at 220. And then we're gonna drop it to a lower low. I'm, I'm sorry, a higher low, excuse me. So maybe it was 220 and then we dropped it to like 140. So that's what I like to do on leg extensions to keep it just intense and know that we're just fucking shit up. You know? Do higher highs and higher lows. And yeah, you get that good work in. Solid. That's how you craft them fucking quads. And this will be the fifth and final set, which I do believe, I tried to run the stack right there, put it at the max, but that shit was just too heavy, it wasn't moving. So, I forget what I put it at, but it doesn't matter. Heavy weight, burnout, we're gonna drop it. Our volume is going down, I don't like that. I like to get volume on these. Heavy weight for volume is the best thing you can do. Um, but like I said, we're fucking grinding. So I did a triple drop set on this one. I lowered it again and was like, let's, I want the volume. I want the volume. Boom. Still didn't feel like enough volume. And I was like, we can really make this shit burn. So I'm I guess this is a quadruple drop set. Goddamn for our final set. And now I'm like just squeezing and holding at the top with this lightweight squeeze, hold, feeling my legs, trying to activate the muscles. And yeah, you know, this shit was burning. I was like, God damn, this shit's burning. These were like the hardest reps. This lightweight, very lightweight with the squeezes at the top. Yeah, I was like, cut it out, bro. I'm not. <laughs> no more. Flex again. Now the pump came back because we did that. We're, we're doing something else now. We did the leg extensions. You know what I'm saying? Like we wasn't getting no more pump from the squats, but if you're gonna do some leg extensions, yeah, we gonna get we gonna get a, the pump back. So I liked what I was seeing here. It also could be the angle, like the lower camera angle, so it's making the legs look bigger. But that shit is nice, man. I, I don't think my legs have ever looked this good. If you ask me. And this is me just getting content, so I think I get another video of me flexing because. You gotta take advantage of these moments because if you don't get them now, you miss the opportunity. So yeah, try again. And 
like I said, just getting content. Looks good though, looks good. I'm trying to bring up the calves. I'm gonna keep doing a lot of hip adductors. I didn't do any calves in this video, but like I do calves like three times, three, four times out of the week. Like before I do cart, I just find other opportunities to do calves. On my leg days, I don't like to do calves because I already do so much. It's annoying to stop and go do calves. You know, we're looking pretty good, man. I want my hamstrings to show more. So I gotta work on that. But that's really like a body fat issue. But otherwise, you know, we're I think we're doing good. Alien gains going crazy in the lats. We got fucking sunburn. Yeah, this shit is dope, man. I like how the physique's looking. Nice. Mobility's good. We can twist and turn. Everything is smooth. Yeah. Just taking advantage of the pump. <laughs> Getting good content. That's really it. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I don't even got to talk right now. I'm just, I'm just checking shit out, man. Just checking shit out. Cool. We spent a lot of time here so far. I'm probably pretty exhausted at this point as well. I want to see the back muscles. I want to see how uh, to pose from the back. I got to still practice. I'm not flexing my hamstrings or nothing, so that's why they're just chilling like that, looking soft. I got to figure, like... You know, don't worry about this. This is just content, like I said. Now, we're, this, I believe, is the last exercise. Leg curls. And took, they pretty much did the same protocol as the leg extensions. We probably went harder on the leg extensions, though, to be honest. But I still did five sets of these. But, um... Like we did those quadruple drop sets on the fucking leg extensions. I think I only did like double drop sets for these, which is still great work. And I've been just, you see, I'm touching my hamstrings. I'm just trying to contract with it better because for the longest time, I just didn't have the best mind muscle connection with my hamstrings. It's getting better. It's still not the best. And that's essentially what I'm just working on right now. So yeah, getting that work in. Taking my sweet ass time with this leg day. Yeah. Trying to go past failure. Just get these squeezes. Nice. Looks good, man. Looks good. I believe this is the last set that I show, but we definitely did five sets. I don't think I recorded the first one. I recorded two other ones vertical style, and then I got these two for the horizontal for YouTube. But fucking monstrous leg day guys just burning out here burn out taking my time just trying to connect with the muscle you know stretch make sure my hamstrings doing the contraction make sure my core is just aligned with everything because if, if my core isn't involved in giving support it feels like my knees will snap if I fully extend back so I'm just trying to make sure everything's lined up and good so you see, we do a drop set right here. I think I went from 55 pounds to like 20 pounds. I can't go too heavy in these because I'm a negative. Like I, if I extend my legs fully, it'll feel like one of my knees will pop. Not in a super bad way, but it's just, you still don't want that to happen, obviously. So I'm just practicing keeping my core and my hips and my hamstrings like all connected because that's the type of support I need to avoid that pop feeling. So I'm practicing, man, I'm practicing. I'm trying to get better at it. And we're pretty much done here, like we're wrapped up. I was thinking in my mind to do some narrow stance fucking hack squats at this point in time, but I was like, nah, that's fucking OD, bro. Like that's OD, we did, we did so much and I was probably at the gym already for like three and a half hours to four hours, no bullshit, because I leave at 4 a.m. and I you know I believe I got there at like 12. Um, I did one last set of Jefferson squats with lighter weight, just like let me focus on the form, keeping the core stacked, going below parallel and just feeling one last time for what Kai Green was preaching. I want to feel it in the hamstrings, the glutes, and yeah, 
some maybe I even did this one just to get like content you know I was trying to just get like a good video for like Instagram but that's the funny thing about me lifting sometimes it's like I will do extra sets because I want the perfect take and it's like beneficial actually because I'm doing extra work you know so it's like people usually content will distract somebody and like the oh, other just doing it for content it's like no not me when I get some shit for content it's actually making me get extra sets in <laughs> So that was the case with this workout. We did a lot of fucking workouts and a lot of fucking sets. Look at the calves are working pretty good on this as well. And I believe this is the end of the workout if I'm not mistaken. Oh my God. Guys, I've been back from the gym, man. I probably got it's fucking, it's like 5.50 a.m. right now. I probably got back home at like 4.20 a.m. But I was just beat, drained. I went OD on that leg workout. Like, I think it looks like a lot. But to y'all, maybe it don't look like a lot. Or if you didn't think it was a lot, I'm telling you, I did so many extra sets because I was recording and I liked how like, I liked how shit was looking. So I did like, I just did so many extra sets for each workout. Like the squats, bro, I did one plate, two plate, three plate, three plate, three plate, three plate. Then back down to two plates. For the fucking Jefferson squats, that Kai Green shit, bro, I probably did like eight of them shits. Then the hip thrust, maybe like six or seven of those. And then we just kept it basic with the leg extensions and leg curls, we did drop sets, triple drop sets. And we did adductors and abductors in the beginning, which was like four or five sets of each of those. And overall, it just took so much time. I knew I was gonna be at the gym a long time today though. I was like, bro, just accept it. There's a lot of leg exercises you wanna do. And you know you're gonna at least be there for three hours. I was like, I'm not even gonna stress. I'm gonna take my time in there. I felt well rested, energized. I was with it. But then goddamn 4 a.m. crept up. I'm like, bro, I'm beat. I'm beat. Like I wanted to do some close stance hack squats like I did in my last leg day. I was like, nah, fuck that, bro. I done did way too much right now. I'm gonna do that shit like in a leg day in like three or four days again or something. Plus we went on the hike earlier. It was just rough, guys. We went a little OD today. Um, and yeah, I felt, felt just fine, felt fine. Like I wanted to do close stance squats. I'm like, bro, if I do these, I'm gonna be in here till like 4.40 a.m. It's just. Cut it out, bro. You're good. Your legs are fried. We, we did a good job. <laughs> we did a good job. Okay, and then I ain't pop up on camera right away and like get my cooking because when I got home, I was like, bro, I know my legs about to be fucked up if I don't do something like foam roll. So I got the trigger point foam roller, rolled out both legs really, really good. Ain't just roll out. You got to like weave your leg on it to really get the knots out. Got the hamstring, side quad, inner quad front quad like both leg of the calves just so i could take some of the trauma out did a couple stretches because i'm not trying to wake up how bad i would wake up if i didn't put that recovery work in all right that's all now let's cook that chicken because we got one last meal we need to get in and i ain't gonna lie dog i'm exhausted i'm exhausted like i could have fell asleep on the couch i was nodding off and shit but I'm like, this is our post-workout meal. So we gotta get it in. Especially after all that work. Especially after all that work, you know? So, but yeah, I really was liking what I was seeing. I think those Jefferson squats are really gonna bring out the hamstrings, the glutes, and the inner thighs. Which, the inner thighs and the glutes, I never train, ever. So you know how like Frieza don't be training, but he's strong as shit. And then people be like, yo, man, if Frieza would train, he'd be so fucking strong. That's how I feel about abductors, adductors, those Jefferson squats are brand new and the hip thrust. So while I'm three weeks out, I think that's a perfect amount of time to like get some blood in those muscles that you never touch. And it'll just make everything just bigger and thicker. And I'm just like, yeah, that's a really good idea because those muscles are just dormant. It's like you've never touched those. So if you can just pump them up for three weeks, that's kind of how long it takes. Like, 
you know, it's not even like, oh, I need the muscle to grow. It's like, I need the muscle to like, just pump that shit up. Over time, you know, it'll grow if we continue to do it. Three weeks isn't a lot of time to make it like grow, but three weeks is plenty of time to like, you know, get that muscle to pump up. You know, like if you're, if you didn't hit calves in like fucking forever, if you started hitting calves, like three weeks later, you'd be like, yo, them shit's just pumped. And it's not like you really gained more muscle in them. It's just like, bro, you just kept them dormant for so long. All you needed to do was pump them up and that already produces a new level. If you keep on continually doing that process over and over again, then you start to develop that muscle. Because that's how I think about it. So I'm like, damn, there's some things that I can take advantage of. Hip thrusters, adductors, abductors, and then those Jefferson squats, which I've only ever seen Kai Green do, we're gonna be doing them shits like every leg day, all right? And we're gonna see what's to come from it. Kai Green says it's really just for your hamstrings and your glutes. That's what he's really focused on when he does it. But for me, I'm like, nah, them shit's gotta hit them fucking inner thighs too. Because you hit down there, you know, it's gotta hit them like uh, the inner thighs. Because I don't know if it's the abductor or the adductor. I forget which one is which. But the inner thighs, let's call it. All right, back to the chicken. Let's cut this shit up, guys. So I told you in the beginning of the video, these some big ass chicken breasts, man. They be saying no added hormones or steroids, and I be calling cat, because goddamn, I ain't never seen a chicken breast this big before. Um, but my point in saying that all is, don't just don't you dare just take this shit and throw it on the pan, bro. Look how fucking big this shit is, cuz. Don't you dare just take this and throw it on the pan. You cannot do that. You have to. You literally have to cut it in half. Gotta cut it in half. So you get these thinner slices that cook easier. And what I'm showing y'all right now is just how to make your chicken just juicy. Like, just cook good chicken, you know? That's what I'm trying to show you guys. And even sometimes you're gonna feel like, yo, this shit is too thick. Um, but I cut them in half, too. It's too long, man. Just... And this one is just too long too, so I'll cut it in a third. This one is fucking thick as hell. But last time, I had some thick ones too, and I cut them only in half, and like they still cooked really well. So they're still thick, but cut, they're still thick cut in half, but like it still works. So we'll still get some good, some good cooked chicken breast out of this. This is fine. These are cool. Yeah, that's a good size. Damn, this shit is huge. So just cut them all in half. Shit, this is what my ex-girlfriend taught me. And when I say my ex-girlfriend, we're still good friends and stuff like that. So when I say my ex, I don't want you to think like, oh, my ex. Like, oh, I'm... No, when I, when I think about her, it's in good memory. And her dad was really good at cooking. And this is how they did it. So <laughs> um, all love, all love. I'm just... Telling the story how it is, man. I learned it from them. So, they're really nice people. Really beautiful family. Still love all of them. Um, damn, these are big. We gonna make it work, though. I will cut off like that extra fat, like that shit is, oh, just came off by itself. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't mind a little bit of fat, but that shit is looking dirty, bro. I like smaller pieces, so like, I don't want to throw this big ass thing on there. I'd rather cut it in half, you know? It's better. Cooks easier, things of that nature. So cool, yeah, these pieces look way more manageable, you see? Look at that, way better, way better, right? Yeah, for sure. Compared to this monster. Jesus. Now y'all gonna kill me because I don't give a fuck about seasoning this shit ahead of time. Like I throw it on there and then I start seasoning it. I know some of y'all, you know, you do the marinade and you, oh, you know, just do what you do, which is fine. I'm sure it tastes even better. You know, that's what Gordon Ramsay and all them be telling you to do. So I know it tastes better, but me, um, I just, I get away with this. I still think it tastes very delicious, so I'm not stressed about any of that. So 
I'll do maybe one day when I'm really into my chef shit and I need to upgrade my shit again, I'll be I'm ready for that upgrade. But for now, this is convenient, this works. No issue. And it tastes really good. Like it doesn't it tastes I like it. So it's like I'm just it's nice to know it could taste better, but I'm like, hey man, if this shit's a fucking 8.5 out of 10 already, you know, I guess a 9 would be great. I guess a 9.5 would be great, but I really already enjoy it, so I'm not going to stress about the extra effort. I'm just going to do it how I do it, okay? Much more manageable pieces. Just want to show you again. Look at that. It's just way better, way thinner. And this is the last one. Like, you know... This, we don't need to cut it in half again, but you need to separate that shit, you know? Easier to cook. Just easier to cook. Way easier. See? Boom. Look at that. Easy. It's going to cook good. Get some of that shit off. Boom. Cool. See? Perfect. Now, I don't got a grill. It'd be nice to have one. So what I gotta do is I set three pot, three pans up, and we gonna try to cook this all in one batch. Get them on all three of these pans. So, boom, boom. Okay. Now the key is as well. You do not want to put this shit on high. Like I got high, there's a dot for high, there's a dot for medium, and there's a dot for low. You want to put it right below like the medium. Not even on medium exactly for me. To me, it cooks it a little too, like it's just a little too hot. So I put it like right below medium. And eh, you know, if it's here, not in the middle, but maybe 75%, you get what I'm saying? Because too low is too low. You don't want it too low. You got to get that sweet spot. You know, you get it, you get it. So we'll let this heat up a little bit and throw them on there and get them cooking. All right, so I think that's about good. I don't want the pan to get like too hot right away because then if you spray it, it burns the oil. So, you know, we gotta, you know, but I'll do it one at a time actually. Get my chicken over here. And we'll go, boom, get it. See, we got some sizzle, so we, it's a good heat. It's a good heat, and it's not too high, so we know it's not about to just go crazy and burn. This is perfect, this is what you want. I throw as many as I can on there. They kind of shrink as you go, so like sometimes you can over, like put a lot on there, you know, and just, yeah, you go hard. Try to get it on there quick. Perfect. So we got it all on there. We got it filled. Get filled. And boom. Nice. So now for me, this is when I start seasoning. Because I just don't care. I just, I've never, you know, this works just fine for me. So I season. Boom, hit it. Perfect. All right, 
So now, just let it chill for like, it's probably gonna take like, give it like good five minutes, you know? Four or five minutes. I want the side to be, I want it to have like some of that brown on it, you know, a little bit of them crisp marks, whatever. I don't like it when I flip it and the shit's just like white and it looks, like I wanna see them brown burns on it, you know what I'm saying? I hate when I flip it and it's just white. I mean, that's cool, it'll still probably be juicy, but that's not what I go for. Like, that's what I want. You see that? I want the brown on it. So like these, these I can flip. And if you see like that one is still kind of white, but it's like, fuck it, you know, if I'm flipping, I'll flip. I, I probably should have waited a little longer, but it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I'm gonna flip these ones. So you see like, this is what I mean when I say that. I don't like when it's just white like that. I prefer to have the brown. In fact, I'm gonna let some of them chill. I don't even wanna flip it. I'm getting ahead of myself. Like I said, about four or five minutes, all right? So I'm gonna chill for a sec and we'll come back and check on them in a little. Perfect. I like how these are looking. That's perfect. They're perfect. Those are on the white side a little bit. And some of these are perfect. Oh shit. Wrong one. Damn, I just poured like hella salt on those. Let me spread that, bro. That's crazy. Obviously the other side, we gotta get it to the same color. That's the goal. But this is when you gotta pay attention because you do not, you do not wanna overcook it. That's why your shit be coming out dry as hell, all right? And something important to know. We just want it, we want it to be like, mainly white, but it can have a little bit of pink on the inside. Just a little bit, like, you need that shit like 85% white. But the little bit of pink on the inside, you turn the fucking uh, stove off and you let that shit chill there and like let it cool down, it, it'll still be cooking, you know what I'm saying? It's got all that heat in there, it's fucking smoking, the hot juices and shit, it's still cooking the meat. So once you get it to that point where it's like 85% white, you can turn the heat off and let it continue cooking by itself and then it just finishes perfectly. If you cook it all the way through and it's white and then you turn the heat off, it still does that cooking process with the stove off and then it overcooks by itself and your shit's dry as fuck, all right? So you gotta, you gotta pay attention at this point. And if you gotta, you know, stab it a little bit with your tongs and I'll show you what I mean. So right now it's too pink. But it's not bad if you stab it with your tongs anyway and like open the chicken up a bit because then it cooks easier as well. Especially those big pieces. Just let the heat and stuff get in there a bit easier. It's not gonna fuck anything up, trust me. So this is what I mean. This shit is mainly white. But you see there's a little bit of pink in there. That shit will cook by itself. That shit will cook by itself. So like, we're good. This batch, and that's like the, one of the thickest pieces of chicken. So you can kind of assume that the rest have cooked the same way. Like this, you see? It's a little bit of pink, but it's mainly white. So we're turning this one off, we're good. Heat's off on this one. This one, I already know the heat's it's ready. You turn it off. And that last one back there, that little pan be cooking quick most of the time. So like, I, I'm pretty sure that one's good too. Yep, they're all good. You turn the heat off. 
All right, so you see that? That's what I meant. You let it get to that point. Obviously, you don't want to undercook the shit. So you let it get to that point where it's like 85% cooked, 95, 90% cooked. Turn the heat off, go sit the fuck on the couch, come back in 10 minutes, it's all cooled down, and then it's fully cooked. If you get what I'm saying? That's how you make it chicken juicy, all right? That's what I do. Game changer. Game changer. And now you know. And then I promise, when you eat chicken breast like this, damn, man, I don't like how the camera is so high. You know, I want it a little lower. I want it a little lower. Come on. That's cool. Um, and then I promise, when you eat chicken like this, you're not going to be so tired of it. Like, I'll have that shit in the fridge for like five days, and every time I heat it up, the shit's still juicy. And I'm like, yo, this shit is banging. Back in the day, I used to eat my fucking chicken breast and take a drink of water right after and just eat it like that because it was way too fucking dry. I'm actually excited for these. Like, this is good. Like, this is, this don't even feel like prep food. I'd be like, this shit is banging. Um, so yeah, that's how you cook your chicken breast, get it juicy, get it right, so you can continue to eat good proteins instead of going and fucking eating the dollar menu, okay? Stop eating the dollar menu, man. Stop it. It's not even a dollar menu anymore, huh? It's about the dollar fifty menu, the two dollar menu, because motherfucking price is going up, ain't it? Yeah, I bet. Stop eating off that shit, bro. Eat like this, man. Get your fucking gains up. Become strong. Become disciplined. You know, get disciplined out here, bro. Stop falling for all the traps, man. Oh, it's easy. I get to get the McDonald's. Stop it. You're falling for the trap. That shit about to fuck you up. Mentally and physically. Be walking around weak as hell. You ain't gonna be functional. Shit, you always got some shit in your stomach that's slowing you down, bro. You can't really get into stretching. You can't do no fucking handstand. You can't go to the gym and feel good and light and free. No. And you ain't even get a lot of protein in those. That little patty ain't got no fucking protein. It's got a whole bunch of other shit that will kill you and just make you lethargic and or weak and or you get the point. So stop, stop doing that bullshit, man. This diet I've been on has been a ton of fruit, not so much protein and things like that, but it changes you, bro. All that fucking, fr all the fruit and the vegetables, like my mind state is completely different. In fact, I, when I got off the hype, some dude told me, he was like, don't you ever get tempted? Because he, he recognized me. He's like, oh man, fuck with you, bro. And he was like, don't you ever get like tempted to eat some ice cream and shit like that? And what I told him was like, man, I could taste some ice cream right now, bro. Like, what, some chocolate ice? Like, what do you want? What type? Some Ben and Jerry's? Like, I can taste it. A Snickers bar? I know what the fuck Snickers tastes like. I can literally imagine it right now and I can taste it. I know it's, I can taste pizza right now. You name it. Some fucking... Shitty ass Little Caesars to some fucking bomb ass Grimaldi's. I can taste it. Mmm. I feel it. And then you eat six slices and you, you get full and, and it's just like, you, what was it worth? You know, it was just, I just satisfied myself. It took 20 minutes and 20 minutes of feeling, I guess, the dopamine from eating that shit, which in my head right now really isn't that great. And then you're, you know, you're just feeling full and whatever. You're not feeling good. Um, but I told him like, yeah, you can taste it. But then I also told him, if y'all remember when I was on that bowl, I showed you on my recycling bin. I was like, the food I was eating then, I was getting red, I was getting fucking red wine every night. I was eating pizza, hot tamales, popcorn, and just, you know, shit like that every night. So I was telling them, like, my mind state was different back then, before I started my shred. Like, I was craving red wine every night. I'm in the, if I'm in the grocery store, I'm like, I'm grabbing every bottle of wine. Hold up, I'm going to the frozen pizza aisle, I'm getting two of them DiGiorno's, give me. I'm getting some hot tamales. Like, I need it. Just let me the hot tamale. Oh, I'm getting the popcorn. I would do that. Like, every... I felt the pool. It was like an addiction. Like, yo, I'm about to get this shit. Um, but... But now that I've been eating the fruit, been eating the, the fucking vegetables, the good protein, losing weight, it's like my body knows what time it is. It's like my mind state is even different. Like, bro, get that shit away from me. I already know what it tastes like. And guess what? I also know what it feels like. I can't get deep into my stretches when I eat that. My handstands don't feel as nice when I eat that. When I'm at the gym and my fucking feeling all heavy and shit, I don't like that feeling, bro. I like to feel like a feather, so, you know? Start eating good. Get the fuck off the dollar menu. So what I meant with all, what I meant with that was, like, it changes your mind state. Like, when you're in that funk and you're eating all that bullshit, it's like you're in a funk. You're, you're, you're fucking distracted. Like, you're gonna want bullshit. And it's hard to take the step to get out of the funk because, like, you're in the funk. You want that funky shit. 
But I was trying to tell him that there's another side. I was like, once I got out the funk and I, I started taking the steps and I'm shredding, it's like you have a new mind state where you're like, that shit was funky as fuck. This over here, this shit is fresh. It's fresh over here, man. You know what I mean? Get you some motherfucking, you know, get you, get you, get you the, get you the blueberries, bro. Stop eating all that nasty ass bread and them, them fucking buns. Get you some fucking berries, bro. Get you a motherfucking pineapple, bro. Get you, get you a SpongeBob house. Come on, dog. Get you some fucking spring mix. You know what I mean? What's this? Got the apples. Come on now. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it for you. You know what I mean? You'll feel it. Trust. 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 So boom, you should be looking like bam. 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 And then you know what? This one is the worst of them. But you see it's still white. Like this shit is white. If you felt like it wasn't white, he was like, yo, there's a little bit of pink, bro. Well, don't eat that one just yet. Throw that shit in your Tupperware, and when you heat it up in the microwave for later, the microwave will do the rest. Bingo. That's it. And voila, we got our meal, man. Does that look dry to you? Cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Cut it out, bro. We're good. We are good. Seven ounces of chicken. Got the spring mix with a little bit of that light dressing. Third cup of rice. And guys, our post-workout meal, we never ate this, so we get this too. Fourth cup of cream of rice. With the jelly. Got the sunburn on me from the hype. But I'm into the vlog right here, man. Much love, y'all. Be strong. Be disciplined. And let's change our life for the better. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace. Much love. Ask me a question. I'll get back to you. Peace.